The display shows the notes on the fretboard of a 12-string ukulele and their location on the staff. This is a very convenient reference. This video provides a method for locating and identifying these notes in case you do not have it. The clock analogy will prove extremely helpful in locating these notes in the early stages of your familiarization with the instrument. Therefore, on the left side is the clock face used in this analogy, and on the right side are two samples of the ukulele fretboard. The first shows the hours of the clock and serves as a guide to locate the notes on the second. Note that we have a 12-fret instrument with a standard re-entrant tuning in which the fourth string is tuned to the high G G4, also located on the third fret of the second string, therefore the register of the instrument extends from the note C4 of the open third string to the note A5 of the first string on the 12th fret, 22 different notes, almost two octaves. Notice that the four lowest notes are on the third string up to its third fret, not on the fourth string, this makes bass accompaniment difficult. You can tune the fourth string to the lowest G3, which extends the low register by 5 notes and the total register to 27 notes, more than 2 octaves, but you would not have the distinctive ukulele sound in the accompaniment. In this channel, we will almost exclusively use standard tuning. Although there are only 22 notes, there are 52 positions occupied by these notes, therefore, memorizing the positions of the notes, which is not strictly necessary, may take some time. It is recommended to start with the natural notes framed in the three groups shown. The sharp notes are obtained by simply moving down one fret on the fretboard. In essence, the ukulele in its standard tuning is a three-string instrument. The first three strings, the fourth string allows the fingering of chords with four notes. You can therefore start with the two groups on the right. Of these the most important is the upper one, which has notes of the chords fingered in first position, and also contains the notes of the C chromatic scale, with the notes of the major scale colored. The lower group is the only one that has the notes F5 to F5, so it is vital for plucking melodies. Note that the open notes on the ukulele strings are notes of the C major scale, so this instrument lends itself well to playing melodies in the key of C major. Notice that the open notes are repeated, one octave higher, at the 12th fret, therefore, if you had an instrument with more than 12 frets, the notes from frets 13 onwards would be the repetition of the notes from frets 1 onwards. In addition to the notes already considered, it is proposed to memorize the positions of the C note on the fretboard. This note is a very good reference, because it corresponds to zero hour. Note that this note locations indicate that a note's position on the third string is obtained by moving up 5 frets, or down 7 frets, from its position on the fourth string. You can extend this observation to the other pairs of strings, in both directions. Thus, for example, the note B4 is located on the fourth fret of the fourth string, above the note C5, but there is no position above the open C4 note on the third string. One has to go down 7 frets on the 3rd string to place it on its 11th fret. Next we will see the use of the clock analogy in the problems of the location and identification of notes on the fretboard of an instrument. To facilitate the explanation we have indicated the numbers of the strings both on the clock face and on the fretboard. Let's start with the problem of the location of a note on the fretboard of an instrument. As we will see in later videos, the solution to this problem is crucial for determining the fingerings of scales and chords along the fretboard. Suppose we want to determine all the locations of the note F on the fretboard of the ukulele. To do this, we mark this note on the face of the clock, and then we measure the intervals from the notes corresponding to the open strings to this note. Let's start with the fourth string. The note F corresponds to the hours 5 a.m. and 5 p.m., 17 military time, therefore it is 10 hours away from the hour 7 corresponding to the note G of the open fourth string. We conclude that the note F is located at the 10th fret of the fourth string. Let's continue with the third string. The note F is located 5 hours from the zero hour corresponding to the note C of the open third string. 
We conclude then that it is located at the fifth fret of the third string. Let's continue with the second string. The note F is located at one hour from the fourth hour corresponding to the note E of the open second string. We conclude then that it is located at the first fret of the second string. To conclude the search for all the positions occupied by the note F on the ukulele fretboard, let us now consider the first string. On the clock face the note F is located at 8 hours from the ninth hour corresponding to the note A of the open first string. It is then concluded that it is located on the 8th fret of the first string. Let us now consider the problem of identifying the note corresponding to a fret of a given string on the fretboard of an instrument. The solution to this problem in turn allows us to identify the fingerings of scales and chords along the fretboard and their transcription to the staff. The proposed solution is easier than that of the note location problem. Simply, starting from the position occupied by the note of the open string, we advance on the clock face as many hours as the number of the fret considered. The note to identify will then be the one corresponding to the end of this path on the clock face. For example, Suppose we want to identify the note corresponding to the 7th fret of the 2nd string of the ukulele. To do this, we draw a 7-hour arc starting at hour 4, corresponding to the open 2nd string, which concludes on the note before, this is the note sought. This video has given detailed explanations on the clock face for the solution of note location and identification problems on the ukulele fretboard, but one of the virtues of the clock analogy is that, once these procedures are understood, and after a short period of practice, these calculations can be carried out mentally. The mental dialogue for the problem of the location of a note on a string could be the following. I want to place the note G, corresponding to the seventh hour, on the third string, which corresponds to the hour zero, therefore this note is located on its seventh fret. The dialogue for the identification of a note on the fretboard could be, this note is on the fifth fret of the second string which corresponds to the fourth hour, for plus five is nine, therefore it is the A note. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you find the information provided very useful. In the next video we will study the fretboard of the Venezuelan Quattro.